this video, we're going to be taking a look at FSR and DLSS. We're going to compare the two in Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's get into it. So FSR was finally released on Red Dead Redemption 2 recently, and it's pretty awesome. I thought they abandoned this game. I thought they were done. The only downside is that DLSS has not been updated, but to make it fair, I wanted to compare both the or the DLSS they choose for the game and the FSR 2.0. Quality settings for both are going to be the same. I just put the quality level slider all the way up and that's it. So the last two scenes I, I didn't include in here because I didn't really see any differences between the two. But here in this scene, pay attention to the cacti. On both versions, you'll see a white outline around the cactus and it looks like it's worse on FSR. Nothing too crazy though, I'd say. But that's the only discrepancy I've seen in that scene. Now in this scene here, if you pay attention to the power lines, I'll zoom in on it. It looks like there's a little ghost trail, but if you've watched my old videos of me testing DLSS versions, that was pretty bad. On here, it's not bad. They did something different with DLSS, I guess. Now moving along to my favorite scene to test hair right away. What you'll notice is less flickering and over sharpening on Arthur's hair and it's on FSR. It just looks cleaner. The amazing thing is, is that they did add a sharpness slider for both FSR and DLSS. So try and play around with that and see. I just left it at the default of what the game developers decided that it's the best sharpness for the upscaling method. Now in this scene here, pay attention to the power lines, like in the distance, DLSS is it's completely gone in the distance, or maybe not completely gone, you can see it. FSR is more pronounced, but it's less stable. As you can see here, it looks like jagged and it's like missing some parts of the lines. But if you're not going to be looking at the lines, I mean, who sits there and stares at the lines? It could be a little distracting during gameplay, but nothing to, you know, write home about or be too crazy about, in my opinion. If you're playing on a screen like the Steam Deck screen, I don't think this would be a huge issue. Now, that's one thing I want to test. Uh, when I get my Steam Deck, I did order one, waiting for it to go through. So the Steam Deck really does need an upscaling method for its performance for future AAA games. So I'm hoping FSR is going to be supported for those games. Here are the benchmarks. Mm, not much of a difference between the two. Performance wise, looks pretty much the same, which is good. Now we're gonna be taking a closer look at like how hair looks moving around in this part of the video. So we're gonna start with AMD FSR 2.0 first. Now we're just gonna be panning around, looking at the birds and ghosting. One thing I noticed right away from my testing so far is if you pay attention to the hair, when just moving your mouse or controller, the analog stick left and right, you'll see like the hair phasing in and out on the edges. It's kind of strange, but not too noticeable. And I don't think you'll notice it while actually playing the game. Trees here, we're gonna be taking a look at the horizon, look fine on FSR as well. I'd say overall picture quality on FSR 2.0 is good, minus the small discrepancies that I'm just showing you here. Yeah, foliage looks well, nothing bad I can see. Now we're going to be doing the same test, but with DLSS, see if there's any differences between FSR. Now DLSS, when in movement, you're not going to get that weird phasing on the edges of hair. Uh, from what I can see here, yeah, it looks pretty dang good. Boilers looks good on DLSS as well, as well as trees. And yeah, looks good on DLSS, minus the over sharpening. That's always been an issue. There are tools that you can use. There's a DLSS exposure tool. One of my viewers actually said that you can use uh, the SDK for 2.4 and remove the sharpness yourself, but that requires you to sign up for NVIDIA's, I forgot what that program's called, and get the file to download. But if you wanna go that venture route, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of videos on there, uh, testing it out. Here we go, I wanted to test out to see if the sharpness, turning on the sharpening filter for DLSS helps with the hair, but it, for my testing, it doesn't look like it does much very little uh, with the weird flickering and aliasing on hair so that's a no-go for me but you can try it out see if it helps out your visual quality
If you guys like my videos like this, you can check out my playlist right here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.